Hello everyone, I'm Vinicius Ferrero, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own token, whether it's a utility token or a memocoin, you get to choose. The platform we'll be using is NR20.cash. It's still in beta, but you can already do some things with it. Additionally, this platform operates on the Anulz blockchain, which means the token you create here will also be on the same blockchain network. It's important to note that this is not an investment recommendation. Even though this platform helps you create your own token, you'll still need to devise strategies to give it value and a reason to exist. But now enough talking, let's get right to the computer screen and get to work. So, here we go guys. This is the platform, and the website is nerk20.cash. I'll leave the link in the description to make it easier for you. Here, you can see several tokens that other people have created. Many of these tokens are just tests. In fact, sometimes you can mint them for free, only paying the network fee. As you can see in the logo at the top, it says beta, meaning it's a platform with limited functionality at the moment. There are many features that the team plans to introduce here since it's a relatively new platform, and its token was recently launched. We'll talk about the token soon. We can also see some more options here, and it's running on the Anulz blockchain, as I mentioned earlier. I've already connected my wallet, in this case, my Nabox wallet. If you're not familiar with the Nulls ecosystem, I'll leave a complete playlist in the description for you to check out tutorials and presentations of various platforms in the ecosystem. Now, let's start looking at some options. First, there's Deploy, we'll talk about this soon okay? It's the part where you can create new tokens, your very own token, and launch it on this platform. The second option is called Mint, which is basically the option to mint an existing token, a token created by someone else, a platform, or a project. Below, we have a list of projects that have already created a token using this tool. As you can see, it's a tool that's still in its early stages, and there aren't many tokens yet. However, I've already created the Bitnub test token here, which I used to understand things better before making this video for you. On the right, we have the option to mint, which will mint the token according to the rules provided here. I'll talk more about these rules shortly. There's also the trade option, where you'll be transferred to the Pheasant Swap Dex, which is a DEX on the Anulz blockchain. If there's liquidity, you can buy and sell this token. In my case, there's no liquidity because I created it just for testing. There's also the liquidity section, where you'll be transferred again to Pheasant Swap, but this time to add liquidity so you can create the LP token. All of this will make it much easier, especially in the future when there are some serious projects here. You create the LP, and then you come here to put it in the farm. Of course, all of this will happen when some more serious projects emerge here. But now, let's talk about creating the token. How does it work basically? In Deploy, we have three different modes for creating tokens, and you'll need to fill in the details for your token here. After deploying, you'll have a cost of 10 nulls. This is the cost to launch your token here okay? At the current exchange rate, 10 nulls is around $2.15, so it's quite affordable. But remember to always keep some extra nulls in your wallet to cover network fees. Furthermore, when you create your token, it will appear in the list below, where people can mint the token, trade it if there's liquidity, or add liquidity to specific pairs. To create your own token, you need to understand these three modes. The first is the free mode, which is a free mode that functions like an airdrop of these tokens. People won't have to pay anything to mint it. Basically, they'll find it in the list, mint it here, and won't pay anything to you. They'll only pay the Anulz blockchain network fee, which is very low. The second option here works as a pre-sale. You can create a token price based on nulls. I'll talk more about this in a moment, but it really works like a pre-sale. When people mint the token, they'll have to pay a certain amount in nulls to receive the token in their wallet. Finally, we have the liquidity mode, which I think might be the most interesting. This is because you can convert all the pre-sale funds into liquidity for the token, according to the proportion you set here on this bar. So, this can be interesting for launching tokens more fairly within the Nulls ecosystem. As you can see guys, we basically have those three contract models, and all of them are tied to the full release of the token on the platform. There isn't a tool yet to create a more robust tokenomics for a specific project, like splitting a specific amount into various wallets with certain lockup periods, setting aside funds for the project treasury, marketing, or development. Even though you can't do these things yet, you can still launch your token entirely using the platform. So let's simulate creating a token now. Let's click on deploy and choose the token mode, the free mode, the pre-sale mode, 
or the mode where we take all the presale money and put it into liquidity. I'll select the donation mode as if we were selling this token to someone. First we must place the tick. What is the tick? It stands for the token acronym. For example, BTC is the acronym for Bitcoin. In this case, the acronym should have between 4 to 8 characters. So, I'm going to enter the acronym test. Then, I need to fill in the token name OK? So, I'll put test channel, it's done. That's the name of my token, and you should enter yours. Hard cap, it's the maximum supply, meaning how many tokens you want to exist in the market. I'll set the maximum supply to 100,000 tokens OK? That's the maximum supply I want for this example. Limit per mint, this refers to how many tokens a person will receive each time they click mint and confirm the transaction. Just one? Or should it be more? Well, I'll set it to at least 100, so people can only purchase my token in increments of 100 units. Funding rate per mint, this is basically how much a person will need to pay to mint these 100 tokens, so, I'll set it to 1. This value is in nulls okay? When you hover your mouse over this field, you can see that the value is in nulls. So, for every 1 nulls a person pays, they'll receive 100 tokens, and they have to do this for each mint. Lastly, we have the funding address, where I'll input the address that will receive the nulls as payment. By default, it automatically uses the same address that I connected my wallet to, do you see up there? 9687, 9687. So, you can create the token at one address and use another address to receive the funds. Under more settings, there are some additional options, like the lockup period, where you can define how often a person can mint. In this example, a person can mint one token every 600 seconds. So, you can set a longer or shorter time, but remember, the time is in seconds. These other options here are a bit more complex to explain in this video, but you can leave them at their default settings. Basically, by clicking deploy, a pop-up will open in your Nowbox wallet for you to confirm the creation of this token. In my case, the pop-up didn't open because I don't have the 10 nulls in this wallet. The difference between donation mode and liquidity mode is essentially this last function. In donation mode, you specify the address that will receive the nulls that people pay to mint the token. On the other hand, in liquidity mode, the person doesn't receive anything because these tokens go directly into the liquidity pool on PheasantSwap, which is a decentralized exchange on the Anulls blockchain. Instead of specifying your address, you have this bar OK? How does this bar work? I set it at 60% for the sake of explanation. In donation mode, a person would pay 1 nulls and receive 100 tokens. But with this bar set at 60% in liquidity mode, instead of receiving those 100 tokens, 60% of them go directly into the liquidity pool along with that one unit of nulls. So, the person only receives 40 tokens because the other 60 tokens go into the liquidity pool alongside the nulls. Who owns that liquidity? Nobody, because it's burned and will remain in those tokens forever. Guys, you should consider the proportions because depending on how you configure that bar, the token's price on the decentralized exchange will be different, at least initially when people haven't traded anything yet. That's it guys. After you've created your token here, click deploy and approved the transaction in your Nabox wallet, your token will appear in this list and people can mint, trade, or even add liquidity to it. If you found this explanation helpful, you can leave a like down below or even send me one nulls. Just mint my test token here on the platform. The token is called Noob, BitNoob Test with the number 27. If you mint with one unit of nulls, it will go to my wallet and you'll receive 10 tokens that are essentially worthless. My idea was just to conduct a test. But if you want to give me a tip, go ahead, test the platform and send me one nulls, okay? Alright guys, you've learned how to create your own token. Remember that if you mint my token, it truly has no value, okay? I won't do anything with it. You'd just be giving me one nulls. Well guys, that's basically the content. As I know there might be some questions, I'll ask you to post them in the comments below, right? Whenever I know the answer, I'll reply to you. I also want to invite you to join the official nulls groups in other languages on Telegram. I'll leave the links in the description to make it easier for you. In these groups, you can interact with other investors, learn more about this ecosystem, and even get your questions answered by the community moderators. So, I'll see you there. Also, make sure to check if you're already subscribed to this channel, and if you've turned on the notification bell to ensure you receive all notifications for upcoming content I'll bring to you. Well guys, that's it for today. 
I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for your viewership, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So, until then, bye-bye.